This forecast is powered by Comfort Now, comprehensive heating and cooling solutions for Atlantic and Cape May County. Well, it's 515 on your Tuesday morning. I hope everybody fared well on those thunderstorms that came through uh, late last night. We actually had some rotation detected by Doppler radar coming through Buena Vista Township, almost getting into the Mays Landing area. I would have put out a tornado warning if it was up to me. I think you saw those ominous cloud pictures out there. Beautiful stuff, but also on the scary side because, well, we don't really deal with the severe weather a whole lot. It's just been a particularly bad severe weather season for us this year. And today we're just going to continue with that theme. Now, I don't think that the threat is as prominent as where we've been, but it's still there because as long as we have this frontal boundary that's parked on top of the area, it's almost like an atmospheric uh, train track or a highway that allows these ripples of low pressure to come right along it. And one is in close proximity to our area today. As that moves through sometime around the dinner hour, we are going to obviously open the door for another chance of showers and thunderstorms. And you see this green on the map extending all the way down into the Ohio Valley, into the Tennessee River Valley as well. So we are not going to do away with this unsettled pattern until probably Thursday or Friday as high pressure eventually builds in. Right now we got these temperatures in the upper 60s, 68 for Hamilton as well as Woodland Township, 70 for Cherry Hill, 68 on the boardwalk in Atlantic City, as well as the promenade in Sea Isle City. Not a very nice start, especially we also have some patchy dense fog out there. Please take your time traveling. Otherwise, clouds and sun will battle it out through the course of the day. A couple showers possible through central and north Jersey early this morning. Uh, maybe a spotty sprinkle or whatnot uh, in the afternoon for us here in South Jersey. I think it's after the dinner hour that we're really going to start to focus on the potential for some heavier rain coming through. And any one of these cells is going to have the potential to be on the stronger side. So definitely be weather aware and pay attention to what's going on. Another round looks to lift to the north by tonight. Overnight, we could see some more scattered showers move in. You get the idea here with the abundance of moisture around us with so much humidity, there is plenty of fuel to stoke that fire in the atmosphere. You'll be able to squeeze out some time at the beach today. I believe it's not going to be a bright, sunny, crystal clear blue sky kind of day, but it will be decent. Let's take a look at your at the beach forecast brought to you by our friends at uh, Island Beach Gear in Ocean City, 65 your ocean water temperature. And that value is coming down a little bit because we have a southwest wind and that's promoting some upwelling You get some of that cooler water beneath able to make it all the way to the surface because the wind is skimming away that surface water 78 on the sand clouds and some sun. And if you see a period of sunshine, I think we'll bring those UV indices up to about a seven. Anyway, you look at it, your safe sun time around a half hour and we're going to go a low rip current risk, but please pay attention to what the lifeguards have to tell you. Middle 80s, pretty much copy and paste weather on your hump day Wednesday, clouds and some sun and a continued chance of showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. But like I said, I alluded to this about a minute and a half ago. Things get better on Friday. High pressure starts building in. Clouds will eventually give way to sunshine by Friday or Saturday and Sunday, lower 80s and much more comfortable. Have yourselves a great day.